Mercury Stone and Douglas. You're one of the giants in the environmental movement. You've been was one of the you were one of the early leaders to express uh, environmental concerns here in Florida. You uh, saw the problem with Everglades early when it was very unpopular to talk about it. And now the country, not the administration, but the country has come to see that you were right. And I wonder what it was that explained this genius, and it turns out she was born in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that follows the night today. Can you tell us a little bit about what what's happened and why the environment is important here in Florida? Well, I think we've all had to realize that in Florida, uh, not necessarily exclusively, but perhaps uh, uniquely. Uh, we're very, uh, the environment, I don't know, the environment is all around us. I mean, it's like we are aware of the environment, I think, here in Florida, almost more than anywhere else. We have cities and so on, but the, the, the unique character, particularly of my part, South Florida, is so great that we, that anybody with any sense begins to realize that we, our whole future, in particularly South Florida, is dependent on that enormous tract that we call the, the Kissimmee, Okeechobee, the Everglades uh, Basin, because that is the whole question of our fresh water. And we realize, as we're realizing all over the country now, 